Can me give me the two bricks? No, enough. Somebody can come here on the platform. Somebody say, help. This is this is a human being. All of you can see, stand somebody, take another two bricks, four sides. Just borrow from them. And you guide them. One about the other. No, you stay there only. You face them, you face them. You face them. Just like that only. Don't turn, don't tilt. Follow now. Do not hold horizontally what this way. Human body is like this. Not broad. <laughs> now, the other three teachers should look here. Without change. Now, this is the human being. Look here. Others, how do you explain? This is the human being. Follow? This is the front body. This is the back body. Now, I will not speak about the trunk. This is the leg. We speak of Tadasana. So this is the foot, this is the knee, this is the hip joint, and above that is the trunk. Now, this is the front portion of the leg, back portion of the leg, the outer leg of the right, or outer leg of the left, whatever. Now, when you stand in Tadasana, all of you look at your feet. The feet is like this, look here. The feet at the bottom, the four corners, the heel, the sole. You bring them parallel. But did you watch your front leg, side leg, in line to your foot, or only you adjusted your foot? I'm asking the question, please answer. Huh? You only adjusted your feet, or did you adjust it from the feet the whole legs? Huh? Whole legs. So that is what you should, that's why I came, conclusion I come. Now you have to do Tadasan before that side leg should face the side wall. <laughs> front leg, front and back. Front should face the front leg, back exactly how they broad they are, they should be so broad in the back and adjust your legs. Now you can, you can explain your language. One. <laughs> do you explain the show? They show in the aeroplane, huh? Yes. Like that. Yes. <laughs> so that the activity that comes out of your feet is reflected all the way up that leg on both the front, back, inner and outer, and that that memory has to imprint from the foot to take place throughout. And this is why the first pose is so important. Now, see, you are all standing. How is the brick at the bottom? Are they parallel or diagonal? Angular. Parallel. Is your sole and heel parallel to the floor? Or are you on the sole or on the heel? Some of you are on the heel. Some of you are in the sole. Can you say exactly the entire surface of your feet from the back of the heel circularly? Can you touch the floor minus the arch? You did it, no? Oh, now, come. Now, this is the foot I said. Now, this is the knee. All your knees, four corners. This is outer edge of the knee, inner edge of the knee, middle knee, cap. Are they in line to the foot, the way it turned? Or it remained dull? Huh? No. So, there should be fluidity when you adjust your foot there should be fluidity in your knees and hips. They should not be solid. Don't solidify, nor liquidify. Body is earth, so they are solid. So you have to change the element of earth into the element of water that is known as fluid. So make your kneecap, as you turn the metal torsos, let me turn the knee, let me turn the hip. And feel the direction of the legs. Side leg faces the side wall, 
back leg back wall, front leg front wall. Is it coming or not? Even the pelvic girdle, up to pelvic girdle, you have to learn. Not just the foot. Is there a transformation taking place in your body, legs? Changes taking place? Adjustments taking place? Yes. So you have to, that is swadhyaya. That I have done something, I have adjusted something, and in that adjustment, so many readjustments took place, so let me absorb that. After absorbing that, you have to reintroduce so that it may not lose its light. It should not fade. So you have to recharge. Recharge the battery of your tissues so that you learn the art of keeping the tissues in a mature wisdom state. They also have knowledge, wisdom. You got it? And now, last point. You see, this is the little toe, this is the big toe, right? So your big toe is not touching the floor if you observe. The edge of the big toe, outer edge of the big toe is swimming. The rest of the foot is on the floor. Is it right, Tadasan? Question yourself. No. See? So keep the toe, watch your pelvic girdle, how they do Tadasan. How the rotation takes place, how the skin moves from outside to the inner body. The more you adjust the big toe and touch the ground, watch your trunk position changes, watch your arm position changes. Is the changing taking place or not? Huh? And are you in a meditative state or in a physical state? Meditative state. Can you now imagine? So this is what I want to people to know, that still we are below the first step in the asanas. You have not even come to the floor level. So let a, foot is the floor level. So we have not understood the feet, and we are thinking something. So let us concentrate on that foot, which is the source of the balance of your brain. Even weight on the soul, even weight on the heel, longitudinal extension of the heel, longitudinal extension of the sole, that the middle portion, follow? And horizontal, latitudinal stretch should meet in the center of the heel, center of the sole, which I call, don't mistake me, I call my feet is a holy feet if I maintain that exact middle portion, the cross of the latitudinal Longitudinal light of the heel, latitudinal long of soul. If I touch the ground, then my feet is in a holy state. New knowledge comes or not? Uh, now, now for you to take the next pose. You have to remove your socks. You can't what? feel the ground with your socks on. You're going to take. No. He said correctly, please learn. Mother Earth is called, we call Mother Earth, is it not? See, you all use the socks. They are already using the blanket. On the top of that, you use the socks. How beautiful the mother and the child is in contact. <laughs> huh? Do you like to throw your child away from your lap or do you like to keep your child on your lap? So Mother Earth is saying, stand on my lap, well. <laughs> so don't use socks. You are already using the blanket. So let me be close to the mat so that I am embracing the Mother Earth. Earth is our mother. So be in contact with the mother. And this is the word, which I have said it, follows in all the asanas. Remember that. This contact of the, with the Mother Earth of your limbs. If you are not in contact firmly, that means you have no respect for your mother. As many people say, I hate my mother. <laughs> the mother says, I hate my child. Similarly, the mother unknowingly will be saying, I don't, li I don't like these children because they don't want to come in contact with me. <laughs> now come on. 